Hamish and Louise, would you like to come and join me on stage, please? On behalf of the National Management Committee, it's my very great pleasure to chair this morning's session of lectures during the 40th uh, annual conference of the Australian Garden History Society. I think it would be remiss of me not to mention that we have a, uh, a special person here, uh, a student who is the recipient of a uh, um, Nina Crone uh, Award, a scholarship. Uh, that's Zoe Hine. Uh, when you see Zoe, she's, uh, she's uh, a young, attractive, vibrant young lady. Please make her very welcome. Each presentation this morning should last no longer than 30 minutes, and afterwards there will be the opportunity to ask questions. Should a paper run over time, we'll proceed to the following speaker with the hope of some question time afterward. The first speaker is Dr Hamish Campbell. Hamish is and has been an active uh, researcher and publisher as a geologist. If you Google him, which I suggest you do, you will find a number of video clips, including one called Vesuvius, a classic volcano. For many years, Hamish was, Hamish was the geologist in residence here at Te Papa and is a popular educator. Those of you who have seen the Neil Oliver series, Coast New Zealand, will probably recognise Hamish as the presenter who brings New Zealand's fascinating geology into the living rooms across national borders. In one such episode, Hamish goes to the lower levels of Te Papa Museum to explain how the foundations were constructed to withstand earthquakes, for which the shaky isles has become the colloquial term for New Zealand. As our first speaker, Hamish will set the scene for the following papers, describing how New Zealand came to be from a geological perspective. Please make Hamish very welcome. <laughs> 